All right, uh, another video. Had to get this in. And shout out to everybody too who's been um, still rocking with me, uh, listening to the videos, asking me to come back um, as I've been busy with other business ventures that I've been doing. That's been taking up a lot of my time. But um, yeah, for the sake of you know all of my loyal. Uh, followers subscribers i gotta push some stuff out right so i want to talk about something and this this is this is something that may get overlooked right and that is when to know when you are being used as someone's emotional rebound support system and you're not their equal partner, right? So a lot of times, and this 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 just happens. This is just the way things go. Um, you'll get involved with someone. They may have, you know, really got out of a bad situation. Hell, they could have got, you know, could have been with a narcissist. Just could have been with a. Uh, a regular person, uh, you know, a fuck boy, a fuck girl, whatever you want to call it. Uh, see, it's a French, but um, that person messed them over. That person put them through some things that caused them to write this mental declaration in their mind to say that the next situation I get in. I'm not giving anything more than I have to. In fact, I'm going to be hardcore. So these individuals are just as diabolical, too, because they get and involve themselves with someone knowing they know damn well they're not about to even step halfway to the plate with you then you they know they're gonna fall back and break from you from the jump and no this doesn't have to be necessary necessarily just narcissists i'm just giving y'all the game these people because they've been hurt before come into as it you know they initially come out they speak all this about how they want equality. They want a person to be this and that. It comes off as very demanding in the beginning. You got to pay attention to these types. Very demanding of what they want of, and how they want it and what they're not going to put up with and, you know, so forth and so on. And the reason behind it is because so and so and whoever did this to him in the past, which has nothing at all to do with you. Right. It doesn't have anything to do with you. You weren't there. You didn't do it to him. But all too common. I hear this a lot. y'all. I hear this a lot from people who've dealt with unhealed people. People who got themselves in situations that didn't pan out right and they're unhealed. And now they come into the next. They still want somebody. They still want to have you know the thing that they desired to have which didn't work out in one situation they still want somebody but this time they're gonna be um totally opposite of what they were in another situation and this you know take a lot of you off because this is how it works oftentimes in these situations the person who they who messed over them, uh, they were waiting on that person hand and foot, taking all kind of things off of them. Right. And this can go from male or female. If you're a female, it could have been a guy who was just, you know, the chick wasn't really about anything. She was using the guy, playing him, uh, vice versa, fellas. It could be a, a woman who was with just just with the dog type of dude. That she was just putting up with all kind of things for her and um, wasn't nothing to write home about. Right. And 
they're not going to tell you this, though. They're not going to give you that portion of just how bad the person that they chose to be with was. They're only going to tell the bad about what they did to them. Right. And so to play and weigh on your mind that, hey, they came from a situation they, they you know, they're looking for fairness and all this stuff. Well, in fact, I, I, I advise anyone to stay clear away from anyone that comes at you initially with how bad their ex did them with how bad someone else did them, right? Because in most cases, you're the emotional support rebound that that's what they're going to turn you into, the rebound emotional support system that's going to get half-assed with everything, right? And because they've made this decision to deliberately hold back where they could give more they could do more but you know what they're not they're going to get positions to allow you to do you heal them you fix them and make them better from what they were hurting for because they don't have anything to give they're coming in with their hand out from the gate you, on the other hand, have to deal with this person who um, is now going to start mistreating you and feel um, they're going to feel, you know, like they, they have that that right to do that. They're going to feel justified in doing and, and mistreating you and, and, and not giving you what your worth or value is. Because of what bad decision they made with someone else or in their prior situations. Now, it's totally unfair to the new person, that being you. Because, again, you had nothing to do with that. Plus, to find out, just think about this for a second. In most cases, to find out when you, if, if you are privy to even come across the person who they allowed it to do all of this stuff, bad stuff to them and with them. Oftentimes you will find they are several steps down from who you are. They're not even nowhere in your league a lot of times. Just think about that for a second. They went all out, did all these things, extended themselves physically, emotionally, mentally to please and try to serve and try to be this, you know, good person for someone who they shouldn't have done that for or who didn't deserve them. Get hurt by that. Then they move on to you and decide, you know what, because I got messed over in that situation, even though you're better Right. Even though you you you. You're like night and day compared to the situation, they're not going to care. And this is where this becomes dangerous. Right. For your own emotional. Um, your the aspect of your own emotions and stuff, at least. Right. Because that type of person. Won't ever see the value in you. They'll know that you're good for them, but they'll feel like they deserve that without reciprocating. Because they're tired of being hurt. They're tired of being getting involved in failed situations and they're tired of crying. They're tired of taking a loss. So now it's like when you come along, well, I deserve this. Finally, I deserve to sit back and kick my feet up. And allow this person to do for me and hold me down and take care of me and take put up with my fits, put up with my complaining. Right. And here's what, what, what really flips your mind out. Think about this just to know. Just just think about this. In the other situation, 
It was the opposite. They put up with someone else's bitching and complaining, mistreatment, and all of that. Now they come to you, and they're dishing that out to you. And making it seem like, this is where it gets really diabolical. They make it seem like, right, that, uh, you know, nothing's wrong. It's all you. Or you should be understanding from what they came from. Right? They try to get you to accept a lower standard person, someone who's giving you a lower standard when they were with someone of lower standards themselves. But they want you to give them the top-notch treatment when the person that they were with was only giving them like 20%. But they want you to give 100. And they were happy and content in the other situation receiving that 20%. From the person who was less than you. But now. Because they made that mental. That self declaration. That this time they got to come out on top. They want 100% from you. And they're going to bitch and complain. And make a big deal. Even if you're giving them. 60%. And they know. That you're giving them more than what the other person did. This is where it gets to be, again, sinister, uh, hateful. It's gaming you. It's playing you. Because they know damn well that you're way better. That they should be really putting out for you now. That they should turn around in, 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 in their minds and say, hey, I should be giving more to this person now but i can assure you they won't they won't it would compromise their their position and the objective that they've made in their mind to come out on top now they're never going to adjust that dynamic that power structure that they've gotten to get you used to and adjusted to 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 being their new sub support rebound. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let that slip and be like, you know what, this person is way better than the person I was with. They do treat me better. I should be putting out more. Because mm -mm. in their minds, they feel like when I give my all, I get hurt or I get used or I get played. So now they're never going to rise that this is why I say it will destroy you. It will it will absolutely, you know, um, bring you down in the end. Because you're working double time. To try to keep this person happy contented not knowing that somebody that they were with before wasn't even doing a fraction of what you're doing to make this person happy and contented and guess what that person was happy and contented for the meanwhile while they were in it until it went wrong till they weren't getting what they were wanting to get right and so this is kind of like that, you know, the unraveling of an understanding of the hurt people hurt people, but it's really not. Hurt people don't really hurt people. People who want to now have a position of power to now inflict upon and be the one that inflicts the and, and dictates how things are done and, and calling the shots. People who are now power hungry go out and exploit and manipulate people afterwards after they've been hurt right it doesn't give it a pass just because they've been hurt to just go and hurt someone else just because that happened to them but if you find yourself in these situations again where someone is is really stressing about how 
I'm not, I'm not going to do this again. I said, I'm not going to do that again. Beware. Be very leery. Beware. Because you could be playing yourself right into being someone's emotional support system. And you're always, from the very start, from the very jump of that situation you get into, you're going to already be behind. And they're going to make it where you never catch up. You will never please them fully. You will never make them happy fully because they will be too afraid that if they do start to give themselves again like they did before when they got hurt, that they'll get hurt again. You just got to release that person and let them go. All right. Hey, anyway, thank you for listening. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe. Any one on one consultations, just click the link in the description. Shoot me an email. I'll get you information on how to go about doing that. Till next time, have a good day.